Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Uh, Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the, vi- to the very end of the age. So still on the real assignment and kind of just looking at all the scriptures, sur- not all of them because there's quite a lot of them that surround our agenda or our assignment to just just get the word get the gospel out there um but just kind of looking at some of the main ones the ones that kind of stick out the most for all of us and to just be i suppose keeping things in perspective because we all have to do that we all have to review and, and think about at the end of the day what what's all this for all this effort i'm making all this spiritual um effort i'm making and all the you know just what's all this about what 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 was it all worth right um so this again this was jesus's words that the ones we listened to in the real on this theme of the real assignment one and two they were both from mark the end of mark and obviously all these accounts give similar stories, but from, you know, they, 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 they give accounts of whatever happened in different ways or, um, you know, the, the, you get the different details from the different passages. But in this case, on Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20, it says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, um, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything. I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And it's basically um, just, okay, let me just start it, started it from here. Again, it, this is when Jesus is, is about to go back to God. He's about to write to, you know, be, be, to arise into heaven. Okay. We're all familiar with what happened. He was taken up into the clouds and what have you. So we, we know that. But in, in he says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name. In, in the other account, it also said, go and preach the gospel to the nations. Um, making disciples of all nations. What's a disciple? A disciple is someone who, the, the word disciple is, 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 is the, the root word for disciple is discipline. Just to basically teach, thing, teach people the discipline of, of being a follower of Jesus Christ. Um, at the end of the day, when you follow someone, it's because you like what they do. And so you follow what they do in, in one way or the other. You sort of, you buy into who they are and what they represent. As a disciple of Jesus, you obviously believe him. You believe he died for you. You believe in him. You, you've received the sacrifice that he made for you on the cross and so on and so forth. So we have to go and tell people that actually he did this for them too. And it says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Uh, baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded you meaning we need to learn what jesus has commanded us we need to know our bibles guys again it always comes back to the word of god there's no doubt about it it can be almost it can be pretty difficult to testify to people or to witness to people about what jesus has done unless you know the word for yourself and you've certainly tasted the benefits of jesus yourself I definitely believe that the biggest testimony is your life because there's no point trying to testify to people about Jesus when there's no evidence in your life that he is working for you. And no, it's not about material gain. Um, it's not. That's also part of it, but it's, it's beyond just material gain. Anyone can have material gain. People who don't believe in Jesus Christ can have material gain. So it's inaccurate to make people believe that if they believe in Jesus Christ, they're the only ones that will have material gain. No, far from it. It's not that. But the point is, um, it's the it's the, the 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 fruits of the Spirit manifesting through you that cause people to be genuinely. If you think about what people are going through nowadays, all the hardship, all the the hurt and the pain, and the confusion, and the just the downright difficulty that people are facing, the uh, the, the anxiety that's all over the world with just you know coming through the pandemic when you think about what the pandemic's done to to people anxiety has gone up it was already bad before the pandemic it's got even worse after the pandemic now i have to be honest with you for example today i sort of tried to i was sharing 
uh, with a bunch of workmates about because one thing about me is my life is definitely changing um definitely not anybody who knows me personally is certainly in the workplace will, will definitely know that my life is not the same the practitioner i was in my profession before covid is different from who i am now certainly those that are in charge of um uh, or what cpd which would be professional development and uh, keeping record of staff performance and whatever you they more than anybody else know just how much progress i've made it's inexplicable how during a pandemic when everyone's morale and strength and 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 mental strength is going down mind's gone up right um so i was sharing today and i, I sort of didn't want to approach because yes we I do live in a country and i do work in a place uh, where really it's inappropriate to start talking religion and sort of trying to witness to people in the workplace but i do believe that your lifestyle can be a witness and i i just i wanted to share to them about the just the fast i've done not from the prayer side no just from the health the physical side of things and how these things are proven and it amazed me how um quite a lot of people really genuinely um were the the way they reacted to me fasting just purely out of you know people do the intermittent fast all the time trainers personal trainers and 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 you know um um you know a lot of people who are into their fitness and whatever you they'll definitely testify to the to the benefits of of intermittent fasting and so when people react like that when you tell them you've been on juice for 40 days and you're telling them how amazing food tastes to you after 40 days of not eating I think it kind of it's it was unexpected. I didn't expect that reaction. The just the way that people reacted. It was almost negative, but it was just more out of no way. Why would you do that? That is so that is just such a silly thing. And then and obviously they'll I say things like and then I gave evidence of some doctors again, not from a religious point of view, but just purely from a medical point of view. There are well-renowned doctors in America, for example, who are curing cancer patients through um uh fasting just water fasting they put you know they they take cancer patients through water fasting programs for about 21 days or they it depends on how many days they believe each person needs and the, and they've been proven to produce results like there's no there's no two ways about it right uh, these things are out there on the internet so forget the prayer side which is private anyway so I'd never really go into the details about the prayer side unless I'm teaching the word of god but when sort of speaking in the in the workplace that in itself It, it should cause just the fact that I'm even physically I'm doing things that are causing me a, a lot of people right now are stressed I am not stressed at all of course I am re- I'm sensible um I, I do things I make choices and I don't try to overwork myself or overdo anything um uh, but I'm certainly not stressed that's far from me um so you would think that that sort of thing people would look at you and think well yeah look at you you've you've lost so much weight you've been fine you've been coming into work no problem and of course when i was going through this fast i didn't tell anyone because i didn't want to because i i needed to my prayer was can i just get through this and actually achieve it to me that was the prayer answer the fact that i went through it and finished it but i know that god is a reward of those who diligently seek him so i'll get i'll gain a lot more than just finishing a 40 day fast right but it was it, it, from a physical point of view anyone can see the benefits through me anyone i'm healthy i am sound yes i've lost weight um i i i actually didn't do it to lose weight but that's inevitable when you go so long without food and and just the reaction of people going well how do you go so long without food and in my mind i'm thinking well exactly it's the fact that the fact that food is such a big factor in your life because one person even admitted and said I don't know how I could go without food because that's one of the things that makes me happy but that's such an unhealthy statement to say even from a medical point of view food is a pleasure but it shouldn't be one of the things that make you happy it's definitely a pleasure please don't get me wrong i enjoy it i'm so happy to be back into eating uh, i would never for a second say oh if i could i'll just not eat at all that's daft i wouldn't do that but it, it, you you at the same time you have to admit that you know every so often your body needs to be reset one way or the other and putting it through a little bit of discipline doesn't hurt anyone anyway my point being witnessing to people can present with um certain challenges that you didn't expect but we are not to be put off right we are not to be discouraged and particularly like i said in yesterday's share about the real assignment we are not to lose sight of who we're doing this for and with 
Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. So the minute you attempt to do this on your own, you're not going to get anywhere. You'll get frustrated, you'll get angry, and you'll work yourself up into a, a just an angry moment with, with, with people. But you, the point being, what, once you start to see how different people's points of views are, it, it's just amazing how, um, you know, generally... You just wish people would know God because I know for myself the difference that has made in my well-being, just my mental well-being, the difference that has made. It's not that I didn't know God before, but now I've just actively, I've, I've properly actively sought to seek him, right? And I actively seek him now. I actually go after him with or without the fast, everything I did, all the discipline in terms of behavior and, um, you know, just the way I handled myself and everything else surrounding the fast. I'm going to continue to and to ask the Holy Spirit to help me to do that, to live up to those standards. The only difference will be that I'll be eating. But I pray that the Holy Spirit help me live through those times. But all that is part of the witnessing, right? You being careful not to be angry or to say malicious things. And I'm sorry, but out of habit, we do complain and moan. And as a result of complaining and moaning, we do say some nasty things about people. Um, but then it's got to the sort of be you being reining yourself back into that corner and saying, Father, I repent. I shouldn't have let myself get that worked up. I repent and, and, and just let God work you to a point where nothing ever offends you anymore. That spirit of offense is not a good spirit. Okay. But these are all signs of how much work you still have to do in yourself. But not only are you doing this for yourself, you're doing this so you can witness who God is to other people there's always someone watching us whether we know it or we don't there's always someone watching there's always someone listening to to what we're saying it's just we just pray that what we say is glorifying god thank you for listening god bless you have a lovely day goodbye